Josh Newberg over at On3, he'll ask you the question, or at least tell you, nobody's recruiting the quarterback position better than Texas. But yet, industry insiders for multiple sites across the country, they're going to tell you Oklahoma is the favorite to land one of the best top-shelf quarterbacks in 2026. And he was recently on campus for the Brent Venables Elite Camp. And I'm going to share some of that film with you guys today. But I also got to tell you why you should be excited if the commitment comes down. And I expect good news has got good news is incoming for the Oklahoma Sooners. Before we dive into it, though, I want to hear from y'all. So make sure you join the discussion. Jump in the comments below because today we're going to be talking Jaden O'Neill and all of those predictions that have been flowing in the sweet predictions in favor of Oklahoma. So jump in the comments below. Give me your thoughts. Do you think he's going to end up at Oklahoma? And hey, if we decide to have him here on the podcast, which I think could happen, uh, drop your questions. You would want to ask Jaden O'Neill in the chat below. Also with your name so that we can give you a shout out on here on the podcast. But Jaden O'Neal is one of the best quarterbacks in this class. Like I said, uh, when you go to go get your whiskey to drink, right? You're getting top shelf. That's what Jaden O'Neal is, right? You're going to get top shelf quarterback. Uh, right now, 247 has him listed as number six quarterback in the country. Only as a four star. But I'm telling you right now, Jaden O'Neal has the ability to be a five star quarterback. Probably by the time the initial, like I know right now we have the initial 2026 rankings. I'm talking about like the like the real 2026 rankings come out. Like when we finish 25 cycle and they get a lot of the 26 rankings done, Jaden O'Neal is likely a five star. And statistically, when you look at Max Preps, those stats might not blow you away. But when you watch the film of Jaden O'Neal here and you see just how smooth of a throwing motion he's got, and you see just how pretty of a spiral he has on that ball. Uh, Jaden O'Neal, I'm not going to say he is the next Caleb Williams because it's going to be pretty hard to live up to Caleb Williams' expectations. He's going to be pretty close. I mean, when Jaden O'Neal walked into the Everest Training Center, a lot of us were looking out for him. Like, we kind of all had an idea of when he was going to walk in, but we were still walking. Like, we were still looking, like, okay, is this guy going to show up? Like, is he going to work out? Things like that. He walks in, and everybody's heads turn. Everybody knew when Jaden O'Neal walked through the door, there was no doubt that was who that was. And that's the same type of swagger that Baker Mayfield had, Jalen Hurts had, Spencer Rattler had it, Caleb Williams had it. When they walked into the room, it's almost like their ability to be a great athlete demanded your presence. And it's the same thing on the recruiting trail. Because Oklahoma just landed a four-star wide receiver in Marcus Harris. And you can't tell me that there was not some part of it being Jaden O'Neal. Regardless whether we know that to be true or not. Marcus Harris from the state of California. Oklahoma and Marcus Harris really were not a serious thing since July of last year. All of a sudden, though, he schedules an official the same weekend, an official visit the same weekend as Jaden O'Neill's on campus for the official for the Brent Venables camps. And I'm just telling you, I think that's only the start. Because Jaden O'Neill is the type of athlete and the type of quarterback that other recruits are going to want to come play with. Now, Looking at Jaden O'Neal, he's a six, okay, two, four, seven, and on three, have him listed at six, three. I'm sorry, guys, just had a fly fly into my ear. Um, summertime, right? And I'm barbecuing outside. Does not help. Six, three is what they have him listed as. This guy's probably all of more a six, four. Like we were talking about that when he walked in. Uh, the way he's physically built, yeah, 200, 210, probably six, four, like solid. And he's got 29 total offers. And when you look at the offer sheet, it's from just about everybody a quarterback could dream of. Now, looking at what he's been able to do in high school, like I said, max preps, they don't always get it right. So, although they have him as a 60% completion percentage, i telling you right now, when you watch the film, you don't believe the 60% completion percentage. 27 total touchdowns to 10 interceptions. I think he's a little bit more accurate than 60%. 
but he threw for 2,475 yards. This is a guy, when he gets to Oklahoma, I think could be a 4,000-plus yard passer and probably get a little over 750 yards of rushing. Now, what do the touchdowns look like? No idea. But Jaden O'Neal is a guy that has Heisman possibilities. And you've seen it. When he goes across the country to all these other camps, whether it's Texas or Colorado or Michigan or Auburn or any of these other schools, Jaden O'Neal is a prospect that everybody wants because they know what kind of athletic ability he has and what kind of, I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's got great leadership. But we'll see that when he gets on campus. Jaden O'Neal, when you watch it, he is able to deliver the ball and just, I mean, look at this. Like, I, I, want, I, I want to point it out this way. Look at it this way. Some of the receivers that showed up to this camp, they were 2027, 20, 2028 20, kids. Not fully developed in their game have a lot to learn. So although there's a lot of guys at the wide receiver position, we were really excited to see the talent pool. Wasn't super great just because a lot of them haven't been developed that way yet. Yet Jaden O'Neal was still able to drop the passes in the basket. Remember when we had Nick Basquin and we always said he put the biscuit in the basket. That's what Jaden O'Neal is doing in a lot of these clips with Again, wide receiver talent that I didn't think was that great. I wasn't super impressed with it. So, whether they're rivals, on three, two, four, seven, people believe Jaden O'Neal is going to end up as an Oklahoma Sooner. And that's just adding to Oklahoma's talent they've already had in this room. Kevin Sperry, Jackson Arnold, Michael Hawkins, Brandon Zerbuck. And Kevin Sperry's not on campus yet, right? And he's still in the 2025 class. So, he still has to make it here. He's doing a pretty good job, though. Like, Kevin Sperry's done a good job at recruiting. Now, will he ever play a down of a starter in a starting role for Oklahoma if Jaden O'Neal comes? I have no idea. We're not going to have that kind of discussion today. But you can't say Oklahoma's not recruiting the quarterback position better than anybody else right now if they land Jaden O'Neal. Because he is... I mean... I, I, we were literally talking about maybe him being the best quarterback prospect in this class. There's still ways to go. The evaluation periods for a lot of these sites, you know, they, they still got to evaluate these kids. But Jaden O'Neill's got that ability. So, Sooner Nation, you guys need to be excited. Their predictions are dropping. There could be good news on the way for Oklahoma. But if you guys have made it this far, and you guys have not already, make sure you jump in the comments below. And... You hit that like and you hit that subscribe button.